WTA Brisbane heads into their quarterfinals, uh, played outdoors on hard court uh, with the WTA finals taking place on Saturday 9th. Uh, here now to run down the finals betting market and to look at who will win is Alex from mbitcasino.com. Now, firstly, Alex, what has been the biggest upsets for you so far? If a uh, game was played, uh, the biggest upset uh, for, for now was uh, Belinda Bencic losing to Samantha Crawford, number 142 in the world. Uh, and it's age 20, this Samantha Crawford, and I think that she will... Uh, I saw her playing, and I think that uh, she is a player to watch for the next years. But the biggest surprise wasn't that. Uh, the biggest surprise was Simona Halep and uh, Sharapova uh, withdrawing from uh, Brisbane. So mm -hmm. we didn't saw two top players playing uh, uh, in this tournament till now. Mm -hmm. What about Sam Stozer? I was actually expecting her to make a sort of a deeper run than she did. I think that Sam Stozer has ups and downs. Uh, she didn't. She is not at her top level. I think that she has a lot uh, to work uh, to arrive back uh, where she was uh, one year, uh, one year and a half ago. All right. Well, we now head into the quarterfinals, uh, but the favorites are priced low. Do you have any bets that you're looking at right now, or are you maybe going to focus more on in-play betting? Yeah, the best is uh, in-play betting. Most of all, uh, is the beginning of the year. It's the first tournament. Uh, we don't know. A lot of surprises are happening uh, at the women's tournament. Uh, and uh, how you say... Because the odds are very low at uh, this moment. I think that we should wait uh, to see them, uh, how they will perform the first set. And after that, to take a look at uh, what is possible to bet on. Mm -hmm. And do you agree that the favorites will win in the quarterfinals? Or do you predict any, predict any upsets? The most interesting match is uh, Pavlyuchenkova with uh, uh, Angelic Kerber. I think that uh, there we will have a long match. But I think that uh, Kerber, after all, will, will win it. And I think that, yes, the favourites will qualify in the semis. All right. Well, Victoria Radzaranka is favourite, sir, to win. 2.25 uh, Labrooks sir, to win Brisbane there. Should we take that now? Because obviously, as we head into the semis and the finals, that price will drop. Yes, it's a, uh, it's a bet to take, uh, to, to, to do now. But um, I think that not with a high stake. I think that we should uh, make it with a low stake. Azarenka is probably going to win uh, this tournament because uh, she's the, I say, even though she is 22 in the world right now, because she dropped a lot after the injury, mm -hmm. I think that she is the capable to do it and to come back on top 10, uh, maybe even before uh, Australian Open. All right, so the question is, who will she play in the finals? I think that she will play with Kerber. Uh, Kerber is doing uh, awesome tennis at this beginning of the year. She did uh, very good matches. Uh, she won with uh, Kameli Georgi and uh, Brangle from USA with 2-0 with no problems. I think that uh, we will see them in the final with Azarenka winning the final. All right, let's just say I've got a bit of money here burning a hole in my pocket. I want to make a bet here for the Brisbane Open. Which bet would you advise me to take right now? I think that you should, uh, you should make with a little stake uh, uh, Azarenka to win the tournament, yes. All right, fantastic. That was Alex there from mbitcasino.com. If you'd like to find out more about Embit Casino, the link can be found directly below this video. Alex, thank you for joining us.